Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. In this game, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Denver Nuggets here at Ball Arena. This is Kevin Harlan alongside two great teams, Brent, led by stars. A game we've been waiting for. What a tremendous showcase for the NBA. If you want to win big, if you want to win a title, you have to have a superstar and a great supporting cast. Both of these teams tonight, Kevin, they fit that bill. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the one. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Porter in the corner. Lock at six. Shoots over McDaniel. Porter, no luck. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Towns wide open. Offline with his three. Out to the right wing. Murray against Gobert. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Gobert brings the double team. Wide open look here for Murray. Hits the jumper in space. Murray could score without dominating the ball. And that time off the catch and shoot. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. And here's Jokic. Back to Murray. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. Let's it go from 14. A rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels passes to Conley. Outside Edwards. Nifty move. There he goes. You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> oh, my. What a huge flush by Edwards showing off right now. Here's Murray. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Towns comes with a double team. Down to five on the shot clock. Porter kicks to Gordon. Fires the three. And the rejection by Towns. McDaniels dishes to Edwards. Sinks the 15-footer. Edwards got seven points in the game. And it's really good to see Edwards knock down the mid-range jumper. He continues to work on becoming more consistent from that area. On the wing, Gordon. Back to Murray. Porter in the corner. Shoots over McDaniel. The Nuggets with another miss. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Murray down low over by Conley. Murray, good. Now, there's a feeling sometimes, even at 6-3, when Murray gets to the interior, he plays a bit bigger. And Brent, what do you say when it comes to Jamal Murray? It's all about staying healthy from here on out. Well, we've seen both sides of it, Greg. Greg, when he's healthy, they're good. When Jamal Murray is not in the lineup and not confident in what he can provide to the lineup, not so much. So when Jamal is healthy, Jamal's a superstar. Now, Jokic, scoreless thus far. Here's Porter, rebounded by the Timberwolves. 135 left to play here in the first. 
to the middle. And finished off by Gobert. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for McDaniels. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And Monte Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. The Nuggets trail by nine. Murray outside. Outside Jackson. Shoots. And again, Denver no good. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Morris passes to Anderson. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Good work there as it goes. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Tipped away. Naji passes to Murray. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Murray's got seven points in the game. He's got a confident shot going right now as Jamal stepping into that three ball. Morris kicks to Towns. A shot's good on the assist by Morris. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Murray finds Jackson. Pass to Najee. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Timberwolves now. Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the Timberwolves. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We've got more in store for you right after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Minnesota. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. On the court for Minnesota, Kyle Anderson is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Anthony Edwards. Then it's Morris. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three, the small forward. Edwards drives in, takes it off the glass. Anthony Edwards. Edwards got the lead up to 13 now for the Timberwolves. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Edwards can't hit. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Here's Brown. Covered by Morris. Six to shoot. There's Jackson with the three. And again, Denver hit the triple. He's a confident guy, and he's got a solid three-point shot, so Jackson rises and fires. Edwards passes to Alexander Walker. The Timberwolves working the ball around him. And the wide-open shot for Morris. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Three points. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And Watson has it in the corner from downtown. And he gets it back. Pass to Jokic. 
Feeds to Jackson. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. And Jackson does a good job of finding some gaps and getting to those open areas. That's how he finds his shots. Here's Alexander Walker. His three-pointer is off the mark. The Nuggets trail by nine. Here's Strother. No scoring in this one. Here's Brown. Softly drops in the floater. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Timberwolves leading by seven. The pass to Reed. Good defense by Jokic. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Watson. Anderson with the block. Good intensity on defense. Kyle Anderson using the length that time and timing it well to get the rejection. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure that he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's the three-point line. It's Edwards. And it's Jokic with the rebound. His touch from mid-range, and that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Outside Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Strother. Now Jokic. Pass to Watson. Reed with the block. Here's Anderson. That one goes in. And the Timberwolves lead by 11. Well, interviewing Nothing's former players, they say what they miss most is the camaraderie. What about you, Brent? I would say, Kevin, right behind the camaraderie is another C word, the competition. And there's no doubt that there's only a few ways that you could ever feed that. Playing at the highest level, being a member of the National Basketball Association, that's something special. So it's both teams making substitutions here. who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. They trail by 11. Here's Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Brown's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, I like that for Murray. Not an extra dribble. Get the ball to the open teammate right away. Murray against Conley. From 10 feet out. And Moore kicks to Conley. But three. Offensive rebound. Count it. Towns has got five points so far. And you have to account for Towns on the backboards. He is too big to miss. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And it's Jokic in the corner. Jokic draws the double. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be a Rudy Gobert. And with Jokic now a finals MVP and an NBA champion, great. He's already an all-time great. And could go down as one of the greatest players ever. He started to pile up the hardware and awards. Amazing what he could accomplish the next few years. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for the Timberwolves. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Just five on the clock. And there's the pass to Towns. From outside, off the mark. The Nuggets trail by ten. Jokic with it. Murray right side. Pass to Brown. And he 
drops it in from the low post. Brown's got it back down to within single digits for the Nuggets. And so it's Minnesota holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Basketball, though, left in this one. Edwards with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. The small and power forward, John Porter and Gordon. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Jokic in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group on the floor for Denver. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Well, when Aaron Gordon keeps it simple, he is a force Brent out on the floor. And he's learned that's when he's at his best. Earlier in his career, he could try and do everything on the floor and sometimes get himself into trouble. Now it's about not forcing anything and letting the game come to him. Passes it to Gobert. Six on the shot clock. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. No good from outside. The Nuggets trail by seven. Now, here's Jokic. And here's Gordon. Has to call well Pope. Shoots over Towns. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Timberwolves leading by seven. Outside Edwards. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And Towns, the bucket on the assist from Edwards. Assisted by seven points for Carl Anthony Towns. The Nugget shooting 43% for the game. On the wing, Porter. Shoots over McDaniel, and that one goes long. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Towns has got one three-pointer tonight in four tries. Count that one, and the Timberwolf lead has been cut down now to just seven on the bucket for Murray. Meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. And here's Edwards from the arc. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. From past the arc. Rebound, Minnesota. Towns has got his fourth rebound in this one. Edwards dishes to Conley. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Low block shot on the way, and Towns finishes inside. Towns has got four points this quarter. So skilled working inside. Towns knows how to operate down low. Murray looking around. 
And the pass to Jokic. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. And for the last several years, Brent, the Nuggets have been a top passing team in the NBA. Uh, such a huge part of their success. They're an unselfish team. It's so hard to defend guys who are not only willing to move, but willing to give up the ball to guys on the move. And that's what they do. Such a cohesive unit here for the Denver Nuggets. Christian Brown's checked in for Porter. Conley, and he lays it straight in. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to them. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with a foul. And Gordon can be a tough customer by the way he scores anywhere on the floor. The Nuggets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Aaron Gordon. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And you hear it often, Brent, these Nuggets are a complete team. Well, you have a historic superstar in Jokic and this incredibly deep and talented supporting cast. Got a great, experienced coaching staff. This team has everything you need to win at the highest level, and they're proving they can do that. Here's Towns. It's good. And that's 11 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, nice read there from Edwards. He's all for sharing the wealth. Conley against Murray. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Jokic. Outside Gordon. Let's it go with a three. And another miss by Denver. Timberwolves leading by 12. Now Conley. He kicks to Anderson. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got five rebounds tonight. Caldwell Pope on the wing. In the corner, it's Gordon. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Aaron Gordon is a guy that you really value on both ends of the floor. He's capable of scoring. He'll attack the rim. He's shown that he's improved his three-point shooting. And on the defensive end, him being long and switchable, that helps out. So the more and more guys get used to his versatility, the more he's going to shine. Watson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Minnesota also making some changes. Reed comes in for Gobert. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. Timberwolves passing it around. Anderson passes to Reed. And he banks in the lane. Reed's got the lead up to 14 now for Minnesota. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Murray against Cover. Lets it fly. And another miss by Denver. Minnesota leading by 14. Here is Anderson. There's the three. It's hauled in by Watson. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Passes it to Watson. Trying to get something going. And another miss by Denver. Timberwolves have gone to even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Watson. His first personal foul. The Timberwolves first shooting their foul. first shots from the stripe in this game. At the line for the Timberwolves, Nikhil Alexander Walker. That free throw, no good. Two shots. And the second free throw, good. 16 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Murray. Moves back up. Najee, no good. 
And so it's Minnesota. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Back right after this. And while we can now, uh, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Minnesota, we've got Anthony Edwards. T.J. Warren out there with Reed. And it's Alexander Walker in a small forward. Yeah, Warren hungry to get in there and get his hands on the rim. Two more for him. Now here's Jackson. He's guarded close. Here's Brown. Here's Jokic. Reed with the rebound. Timberwolves leading by 17. Here's McLaughlin. Shock up two there. Jordan McLaughlin. Jackson with it. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Launches a three. Strother, no good. Minnesota shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. McLaughlin, the pass to Alexander Walker. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside Jackson. Here's Brown. Just four to shoot. Three-pointer. Jackson misses. Timberwolves have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Back to Warren. Puts up a three. Buries the long-range jumper. TJ Warren, uh, TJ Warren trusts that shot. Trust me. Fantastic at shooting with purpose off the pass. That's alliteration. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Here's Brown. The Nuggets with another miss. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Edwards can't hit. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Nuggets. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. To the paint. Here's Jokic. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Minnesota leading by 22. Inside, here's Reed, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Denver calls timeout. For Denver, they've gone 0 of 6 in the fourth quarter. Disastrous start to the period. Gordon against Anderson. Good D by Anderson. Timberwolves have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. To the inside. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Uh, Anderson's such a unique point forward. He uses his size to see over the D and make those kind of passes. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Timberwolves. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. First team foul. At the line for two, Aaron And he makes the first.
that misses, so he splits the free throws. The kick out to Holiday. Fires the three. Minot pulls it in. For Minnesota, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Murray. There's the killer two-handed slam. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Down low, there's the pass to McLaughlin. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's Reed. Another shot. Pass to Minot. Anderson outside. Here's McLaughlin. Passes it to Alexander Walker. No good on the triple. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Murray kicks to Gordon. From the arc. And that one is off. And here are the Timberwolves. They're on a 14-3 run. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Timberwolves. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, th there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Carl Anthony Towns. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. Back to Reed. Shot clock at six. With some arc, and the layup is good. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, Boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Gordon for three. Second chance shot. Offensive rebound. Here's Jokic. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Murray. So it's Minnesota winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Hey, thanks a lot, Carl. A lot of players got in on the action offensively. When you get it rolling as a team, how good can you be? I mean, it's awesome, you know, to get a chance to keep uh, the defense guessing. You know, we did a great job of that tonight. Uh, you know, we did a fabulous job. We let our defense be our offense tonight, and that's uh, when we were at our best. That's what happens. It certainly was great on the floor tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now our New Balance player of the game, Carl Anthony Towns.